Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to give your Shopify website a professional touch. I'm gonna cover the types of sections you can add, how to create an eye-catching product page, and more tips for doing your collections, your menu bars, and more. You can follow this tutorial if you're a beginner or if you're more advanced with Shopify. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. One of the very first tips I can recommend for adding a professional touch to your Shopify website would be to include an FAQ section or page on your website. This will help to answer customers' pre-order questions. And if you wanna take it a step further, you can also create a separate FAQs section for after customers' orders if they usually have many post-order questions. Here's an example of a Shopify website I put together, and I'll be showing you three different ways you can implement the FAQs section. The very first way would be to add a small segment to the homepage of your website, similar to what you see here. On Shopify, you'll want to open your website, then click add section. You can insert a collapsible content, and this is where you can type in your frequently asked questions, and you can type in your answers. We also have the option to insert some links for the text. For example, if one of your answers includes you directing customers to read your shipping policies page, you can select that text and link that text directly to your policies page. You'll have the option here to change the icon elements. I'll be setting these to question mark icons to represent each question. Adding a section like this to your homepage can help to make your website more user-friendly and it can reduce getting frequently asked questions from customers regarding things like your shipping time and restock updates. The next option would be to create a full FAQs page. This will definitely take a couple more steps, but for an overview, if you're on Shopify, you're gonna click Pages, then click Add Page. Once you've titled and saved that new page, you'll wanna open your Shopify website and open that new page. Click Pages, then click Create Template. I'm going to title this the new questions page. Next, you'll want to open that page again under navigation and apply that new questions page template. Once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and open your website again and you'll be able to start filling this page with your frequently asked questions. You can also include things like picture sections and screenshots. For example, if customers frequently ask where can they track their order on your website, you can implement screenshots of where they can go to track their orders. This option is great for if you have a ton of FAQs that you'll want to list in organized sections. All right, and then the third way that you can incorporate an FAQ section would be to add a default section to your product pages. This is gonna be perfect for if you have frequently asked questions regarding your products in particular. To do this here, you'll want to open your Shopify website, and then you're gonna open one of your products. At the bottom of the page, you're gonna to wanna to click add section, and this is where you can insert another collapsible content row if you would like. And once you fill that out and put all of your FAQs, this new FAQ section will automatically add to each default product page on your website. This way, when customers open other products, they will see that same little FAQ section. Overall, having an FAQ section can definitely enhance your website and your navigation. By the way, if you're looking to save some time from designing your website, and if you're interested in this demo Shopify website I'm showing, this is actually one of my Shopify theme templates. I have many types of Shopify theme templates designed for many different businesses, including clothing, beauty, and I also have Shopify themes for drop shipping businesses. And this will help you with saving a ton of time from designing your website. I put together these pre-made Shopify website templates in downloadable formats for in case you're looking for a professional styled website. After your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format, and here on Shopify, you'll be able to easily install this into your store. I will link these Shopify templates in my description box below. The next tip I can recommend for adding that professional touch would be depending on your business type and how many products you're selling, you'll definitely want to create a custom collection page. Basically, this is just a page in your store that includes all your categories laid out. Shopify does give you a default collections page on your website. When you click to open up your collections page, it just combines all of your collections that you've created into one page. But one thing you can do is actually create a customized collections page to create a better display of this. All right, so to design your collections page, here on Shopify, you're gonna click pages and we're gonna take these same steps to create a new page within your store. You're gonna title the page and click save. Then you're gonna open that new page here in your Shopify theme. And I'm just gonna click default page, then click pages. And this is where you can create a new page template. I'm gonna title this Categories Template. Then you're gonna open that Categories page again, and then go ahead and apply that new Categories Template. Back here in your website, I'm gonna break down exactly how you can lay out your collections page. I also have an in-depth tutorial on how you can do this. I'll link that in the description below. To start, I'm gonna click on this title page, and I'm just gonna hide this away because I'm gonna be adding a new text area. Right here under Template, you're gonna click Add Section, and I'm gonna import a rich text section. Here you can title this collections or categories. And if you want, you can also write a mini page description. 
Then I'm going to click add section and here I'll be inserting a collection list. The collection list is how you're going to feature your product collections. I'll be removing this main heading text. Then when you click on an individual collection, when you click select collection, it will allow you to select each collection you would like to manually feature. And here's just an overview of how you can begin doing this page. Another option you can have for if you plan on selling like dozens of types of products is that you can section off your categories page. For an example, you can title this section clothing and specifically list your clothing listings. When you click on the collection list, under number of columns on desktop is where you can increase the amount of columns shown. And here's an example of how you can section off just your clothing section of your site. Next, I'll be clicking on this section, click duplicate, then you're going to want to move this to the bottom of the page. I'm also going to go ahead and duplicate this collection list and then move that right below that second text that we just added. I'm going to title this accessories. This way we'll be able to section off the clothing from the accessories. And then you're just going to click on each section and then go ahead and choose which collections you would like to display. So for the rest of these slots, I'm just going to click on them and click remove block. Then under number of columns on desktop, I'm going to set this to 3. And once you're done, this is how you can section off your collections page. For an example, if you plan on selling dozens of types of home decor products, you can put kitchen supplies and accessories and then right below that you can do a section for living room decor. Then right below that you can put a section for storage organizers. This is a great way you'll be able to have all your collections laid out and organized for your customers. To take it a step further, when you click on a collection list, when you view the mobile layout, you'll see that it will display each collection individually. For a more simplistic mobile layout, right here you can enable the swipe on mobile to allow customers to just swipe through your collections. Then under number of columns on mobile, you can choose to display two columns at a time. And once you're done, this is a great way to add a little professional touch to your website, specifically for if you plan on selling dozens of products and possibly hundreds of products. And then to feature that new categories page on your website, you're going to want to click navigation, then open your main menu. When you click add menu item, here is where you can go ahead and select to feature that brand new categories page. When you click this icon right here, you can drag it to closer to the top of your navigation bar. You're going to click save. Then when customers open your Shopify website, right here is where they will be able to click categories and they'll be able to browse your organized categories. All right, and then this last tip for adding that professional look to your Shopify store would be to customize your product pages as best as you can. For an example, I'll be showing you how to add variants to your products. Variants would represent different sizes and different color options. So here on Shopify, you're going to want to click products and I'll be adding a new product. I'd recommend keeping your title pretty short. And this is where you can go ahead and insert your description text. All right, so just for an example, I'll be using ChatGPT to generate the product description. Right here in your description, you'll just wanna include some sales text to help to promote the product. And then you'll also want to highlight its main features and its specifications. Right here under media is where you can upload your pictures of the product. I'd recommend uploading high quality pictures to best promote your product. And you can drag around these pictures to reposition the layout. Here you can list the product category. If you want, you can list a compare at price. Then when you type in your cost per item, this will help you to determine your profit and your margin. When you click track quantity, you'll want to be sure to insert the amount of inventory you have in stock. Then you can insert the product weight. And to add a variant to your product, right under variants, you're going to click add option. And first off, I'll start by adding the sizing. Next, I'm going to click add another option, and this is where I'm going to add the color options. Once you're done adding your color options, when you click this little image icon, this is where you can upload pictures. That way, when customers are selecting it before their order, they can kind of confirm which one they selected. And then here, when you go to click add images, I'd recommend uploading a new image of that variant. Even if you have one already uploaded, you're going to want to upload a new one. This way, the picture layout does not interfere with these pictures up here. And then right when you click this little three variants icon, this will represent how this color is available in the other sizes. And this is where you'll want to put in the exact stock unit that you have for each size and each color. 
All right, and then under product type is where you can select which product category this is in. Then you can add this product to one of your collections, and then you can insert the tags for the product. This way, when customers are searching for a specific product on your store, these specific products will pop up based on their search terms and matching your tags. All right, and then once you're done, that is an overview for how you can customize your product page. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.